All right, welcome to the Keep IT Unit 1 specimen paper for the new syllabus that's examinable from 2022. This is the new syllabus, so I'm going through all of the questions, but this one, this one is a little different because we have the actual specimen answer, so I'm going to go through the paper, answer each question, and then after each question, go through the specimen answers to see how they match up, so you can see how they mark, you can see how the questions are structured, and you may also see that the specimen paper answers may be a little wrong or may not have the same consistency with what is in the syllabus and those are things that we have to face so the reason i'm going through it is to make sure you understand how to answer a question and what the examiners really see when they are trying to correct it so cape it unit one this is the specimen paper examinable from 2022 i hope you learned something right Right, so the new syllabus is 15 marks per question, 30 marks in total for the module. All the papers that you would have been doing before uh, would have been 25, 25, 50 marks in total. Mm -hmm. It's cut down now. Uh, of course, that's a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing because if you mess up a question, your chances of making it up with another question is very low because the marks are hard to come by. You only have a few marks to work with, so let's see what we have here let's go distinguish between data and information Ick. we've seen this so many times and they said give one example of each so we're going to say data would be raw facts and figures example six nine two four and eight information is data that has been given uh, context or meaning or Example ages of students in a class yeah. or average age. Yeah, or average age. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Next would be the manager of the nutritional center in the health ministry would like to conduct research on the eating habits of students in schools. To so state two sources of information that the manager could use to assist with her research and provide one characteristic of each source. So the scenario of this question is um, they're managing a nutritional center and they would like to conduct research on eating habits of students. I two sources of information that you you could get because it's a school and they you know the health ministry they probably one of them could be people the students in students and teachers students and teachers in the actual schools can be interviewed to give data on the eating habits of the students. Next place that you can get information from would be people will be one. Next one let's try newspapers. Newspapers will be the next best one I think because it will be real hard to get that from a book or a journal or a magazine or anything like that. Yeah let's say newspapers. Um, there may be articles that are written in the newspaper that speak about those particular topics. Um, yeah, yeah. Journals and magazines I'm not too sure about. I don't think they will have that, but we, when we check the answers, we'll see what they had and see what we had. Describe two characteristics that the manager can use in selecting information corresponding to this research. Describe two characteristics the manager can use in selecting information corresponding to this Two characteristics. Okay, characteristics of information. They will most likely want something like um currency. They would want information that is up to date so they can make the best decisions possible when coming to a conclusion. And then mm, let's grab the characteristics of the list. And then they probably want accuracy. They would need the information to be correct to avoid making choices of that may be false or misguided. Um honorable mention goes to currency, accuracy, um uh, 
there they could be um refereed sources right that means that it um references reputable sources um for cross-referencing and then you might want to try currency accuracy refereed sources you probably look for bias yeah if the information is biased you'll want to be careful if you select them yeah those are some good ones you probably could use others if you justify them properly you know but i guess currency and accuracy would be some really strong ones there. if you're looking for strong answers currency and accuracy would be good because the data must be current data of course all uh, right Describe four steps that the manager will take to present the findings and carry out the recommendation of this research using the automated information processing cycle. All right, so automated is input process output storage, right? Anytime you see automated, that's what they're looking for. Well, we'll double check when we see the answer just now. Four steps the manager will take to present the findings and carry out the recommendations of this research. Okay, so input, right? No, four steps will take to present the findings and carry out the recommendations. So they did say use any automated information processing cycle. All right, so we're still going to start it. Input. Um, wow, this question is weird. Let me think about this some more. Describe four steps the manager will take to present the findings and carry out the recommendations of this research using the automated processing cycle. So carry out the recommendations. So the research is going to use some recommendations and then you have to do them. Okay, input. So the recommendations would be compiled and put into the system process the system would i'm confused describe four steps that the manager would take to present the findings and carry out the recommendation how would you present the findings and carry out the recommendations using the automated information processing cycle um input would be the same thing as collect process would be the same thing as collate i definitely am going to have to look at the answer for this this is the way this question is phrased is confusing the system would then determine which parts should be presented and how it should be represented and then the output see the findings would be um, presented using a graphical um, and pictorial slideshow and storage I really confused right now storage the data would be stored okay dropbox done on a computer hard drive for future use it's four marks it's four steps all right that's question one let i'm uh, i have to see what they have here but this is this is legit blowing my mind right now what were they looking for um that's not i need to open the answer um Right, let's see what they have here. Unit one, paper two. Right, that's I is confused. Right, so they have data is a collection of unprocessed items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or facts and figures. Um, example of information. Yeah, information is processed data that can can be seen. Right. Um, right. So they have identified two sources. Journals, magazines, and whatnot, right? Good, good, good. See two sources of information and one characteristic of each source. Yeah, we did that. People available, relevant. Yada, yada, yada. Right, good. So that four marks is good. This last part here, I'm concerned. Appropriate sources, depth, audience. Yeah, we have currency, we have accuracy, multiple sources, depth, right, two by two. Yeah, so it's once they say, um, could include but not limited to. Yeah, that means your answer just has to make sense. So if you have currency and accuracy, it should be good. All right, so let me see what they say about this input. Input, the data is captured. Conducting research automation. Description is expected, not the list of IPOs. Yeah, so they wanted to give some, some sort of description. But it's kind of weird because the question said describe four ways that the manager would take to present the findings and carry out the recommendations. They didn't say describe four steps that the manager would use to collect the data and produce the findings. It's it, it should have been a little more clearer that they want the input process output. But anyhow, they did say automated information processing, so that should be enough to get your input process um, output on storage. Data captured processing is system would determine the analysis. Yeah, it's stored for later use output right here. Formats. Okay, so we'd still get it. It's just that the first the first sentence present the findings and carry out the recommendations. That is that sounds more like the presentation stage only. But when they said using automated information processing, that should have cleared it up clearly enough to be able to give out a good answer. Alright, so this one should get the four marks because it goes out goes goes through the input processing of that storage.
All right, let's go to number two. Data and information can be represented by various methods for each of the following outputs. Draw, label, sketch, illustrate, representation. All right, graphical. Draw, label, sketch to illustrate. Graphical, what is happening? Uh, graphical and analog. Do, 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 do. Graphical would be uh, X and Y axis and stuff. And then analog would be something with uh, X and Y axis, but the um, graph or something like this. Yeah, I hope so. Or graphical could be a bar chart. Yeah, I feel this is what they want. I have a XY, a kind of scattered graph chart here that is that would be acceptable too but a bar chart just looks nicer yeah right analog is just a waveform that's go up and down like that cool. part b a friend doing research on professional careers is told to use the internet to find social information the internet has several research tools state with reasons three internet research tools that your friend could use with reasons um you could use a website friend what else can you use friend friend you could use a website you could use an uh, online library okay. and friend you can use a online database, database all, good. all right so a website can be dedicated to a particular topic and used to collect some um, information that may be from reputable sources. An online library would have um it would have books that uh, focus on one topic and be very scholarly. Scholarly is a nice way to trace idea. Online databases could have um articles written by PhD candidates that are cutting edge research. Yeah. Those three are online tools that you could use. I see no reason why not. Um, so just three fields that are suitable for a career in information technology. Computer science, computer engineering, information system, and um, software engineering. Recommend to professionals I is at in Institute of Electronics and Electronics. Electronical Engineers, BACS, British Academy of Computer Scientists, and I forget the other one, AEF or AET, American Institute of Scientists or something like that. I just remember BAX and IEEE, like I and BAX. <laughs> Let's see what they give us. Um, What do they give us? All right, so for the graphical, I did put the bar chart. So the a chart or graph depicting some output. Okay, cool. Analog example of output. They say draw a label sketch. I didn't draw the label sketch. All right, let's go for amount and uh, days. Oh no, it should be amount on top here and days underneath here. All right, and this one should be time and amplitude, right? Okay. Correction accepted. Internet research tools. They have search engine, social media tools, conferencing tools, cross platform messaging tools. Our friend. Uh, Suggest three internet research tools. Oh shucks, I put sources research tool they wanted. That was weird though. Search engine, social media tools, conferencing tools, and cross-platform messaging tools. Those are ways of doing research on the internet, right? Um, I guess I already have no choice. Okay, let's see for the computer science, computer engineering, information system, software engineering, right? We got a BCS. It's not BACS, it's BCS. Oops, my bad. BCS and IEEE. Yeah, we have IEEE. So BCS. AIS was one. Yes, I know I was correct. AIS is also one. Okay. All right. This part, this B part one. Yeah, that one was difficult. That one was weird. Search engines, social media tools, conferencing tools, and cross cross platform messaging. A friend doing research on professional careers is told to use the internet to find sources of information. The internet has several research tools. State with reasons three internet search tools your friend could use. Yeah. Definitely. What an internet search tool? How is a cross-platform messaging a search tool? How is social media a search tool? I do not agree. Like to describe to describe an internet search tool. That's real rough. Um. All right. So let's go again. That's. I don't like it, but I'm going to have to accept it. Internet search tool. So they are saying that the first one is a search engine. Search engine allows you to find. Let's see if we can explain. It. Allows you to find reputable website. Um, if a Gabriel, if a browser could work for this, I really not. I I wish I would could say yes. Search engine allows to find um, pertinent websites on the topic internet search tools then they have 
what cross platform messaging mm-hmm. but who you gonna talk to with cross platform messaging you gonna message random folks are you gonna message like okay um messages can be sent to professionals and feedback given i i don't know what's the other one they had conferencing tools and social media tools i'll go with social media social media tools um allow you to find information on trending topics that is up to date yeah i don't like this question i don't like the answer i don't i can't say that i am happy with this no i don't like it i don't know if you do but i don't i don't know if browser would work honestly gabby i really not too sure i can't I don't think they will ask a browser because their answers are very weird. Search engine, social media tools, conference and tools on cross-platform messaging. And any reasons, they didn't give the reason. They just say appropriate, timely, current and reliable. Appropriate is search engines, timely is social media, current is conference and tools. I can't see it. But okay. Those are the nuances that um, IT could do to you. Right, so of course, thanks for watching. You made it to the end. If you're looking for Cape IT classes that you want me to teach, you can check us out at education.makeitsimplett.com and you will see all the different packages that we have for Cape IT classes. And of course, you could always come back to this YouTube channel and there'll always be free videos here to explain different things to you. But if you want dedicated classes that will explain certain things to you and make sure you understand the syllabus inside out, then check us out, education.makeitsimplett.com You'll see Cape IT and we have a various um, set of classes from crash courses all the way down to full-on classes with assignments and IA assistance and paper 3 assistance. So you can check that out, um, makeitsimplett.com